Once a year, the capybaras get a huge pumpkin, which they love. It gives them the chance to eat all day long, which is what they would do in their natural environment. Here we have some relatively junior capybaras, Prune and his siblings, Whip and Cream, with Alba on the left. Hinase arrives. Hinase is the most senior of the female capybaras. She used to be number one in the hierarchy, but recently Donut has taken that position. It's the first time a male capybara has been leader of the herd. Hinase and Mamiji are great friends. Mamiji's on the left. She's number two in the hierarchy. Alba comes back to join them eating the pumpkin. Cream wants to join in as well, but she's not welcome. Cream tries coming from a different side. But he must say intimidates her. I love the way the capybaras close their eyes when they tuck into the pumpkin. Queen really wants a bit of that watermelon. Mamiji is the oldest capybara in the herd. She will be 12 years old next month. I hope they celebrate her birthday. You can see Alba was getting ready to intimidate Queen. Capybaras communicate in several different ways including at frequencies outside the range of human hearing. You can sometimes see this by seeing a vibration in their diaphragm. That's donut. Hinase is number one and Luigi is number two in the female home. Donut approaches. He can be very aggressive to the capybaras in separate enclosures as if he is guarding the territory of the herd from outsiders. But he has inherited his grandmother, Dongolese, peaceful, wise nature. Having waited patiently, he now approaches. You can see by his body language that he is intimidating Cream. And Cream moves away to the other side of the pumpkin. Hinase returns and challenges Donut. Donut is almost the only capybara Hinase who stands up to Hinase. And is having a standoff with Donut. You can hear Donut tooth chattering. This is a warning. Capybaras know where they stand in the hierarchy. 
they can sense who it is safe to challenge and to whom they should be submissive. That's Keiko on the right, Donut on the left. Keiko is Hinosei's daughter. She is very aggressive, despite being the smallest member of the herd. Hinosei is arriving again. And because of her aggression, she is number four in the hierarchy. Hinosei approaches again. Donut can't be bothered to fight. Hinase has sensed butter approaching the pumpkin, thinking of chasing butter. Hinase frequently chases butter. I can understand why Hinase has a problem with thinking. Sumimasen. She doesn't behave according to the rules of the herd. Donut has gone off to entertain himself, rubbing his mule in the onsen. Capybaras love rubbing their morelos, especially the male capybaras and the most senior female capybaras. Donut sings as he goes down the steps. That's Butter in the background. Donut sometimes mates with Butter. She seems to adore him and often follows him around. Donut seems only interested in Butter to mate with her. This is Ko, Zabon's male offspring, just one year old but quite aggressive. He won't be welcome. <laughs> That's Kona, the breeding male, who lives a frustrating life separated from the herd. He can sense that something is going on and he will be able to smell the pumpkin. The bird is very aggressive to the ducks, so sometimes he is put in with Kona to separate him from the ducks. He seems to like Kona, and I love the way he follows Kona around. Kona seems completely uninterested in the bird. It's a very hot summer's day, so Kona cools off in the pond. Alba has had enough of pumpkin, so she chews on a bamboo stalk, mm -hmm. which is very good for her teeth. Alba loves eating. She should have mated by now. And I think she turns her frustration into eating. Nanichi invested so much in Alba, giving her milk every time Alba wanted it. Alba suckled for eight months rather than the usual four months. It will be a tragedy if Alba is not allowed to milk. Butter intimidates poor Zabon. Zabon is heavily pregnant and a very gentle capybara. Interestingly, Zabon's mother was extremely aggressive. 
She was Aki, Dongu's sister, and leader of the herd when I first visited in 2012. Whip comes along. He is the biggest of Maple's five pups and always hungry. Zabon hints at aggression there or intimidation and Whip goes away. Sarah is a sweet capybara. He's one of my favourites and Hinase likes him as well. I find it interesting that the capybaras I like best are the ones that are most popular with the herd and the ones that Hinase likes best. We share a common ancestor 75 million years ago and Emotions developed very early on in evolution. He must say has arrived. There is evolutionary continuity between all mammals. The pumpkin has been going for a good three hours. That's him say on the far side. We all stay on the right. Donut entertains himself, marking. As leader of the herd and a male, he does the most marking. <laughs> Papi Bar is a very tall little toothless, my baby. You can give her some. Muniji has learnt that if she sticks her Let's cute little tongue. tongue out, she's more likely to get fed. Hinase watched her and has copied this behaviour. That's Donut again. And petting her. <laughs> Hinase has a little nap. As do some of the other At the end of the day, the capybaras go to visit Kona. He's the breeding male in the separate enclosure. The capybaras go en masse to visit him several times a day. They all sing loudly and it's a quite magical sound to listen to. Going in. There goes Alba. She's 
Michi's always had a name. And that's her mother, Mimichi, just about to go in. Mimichi. In goes Mimichi, Ryosuke in the background. 